this is Galita from Happy Godessa and I'm today in a beautiful place of nature and I would like to talk about expression and answer the question of Susanna. So I'm going to read her question and her question was, I feel very shy and sometimes embarrassed to express my feelings and opinions in that work, especially when we are all in a group. I have much to offer. I feel confident about my knowledge and abilities, but I don't dare to speak or share my ideas in a group and I know how it feels and I'm sure you do too. So I would like to answer to Susanna and you can use these tips to uh, check with yourself and see how you can let your expression uh, expand and feel more comfortable. Yes? So there are two things I would like you to look when you are trying to feel more comfortable with your expression. First, tune in to what is your way of expressing. And from some reason, there is this idea that the extrovert expression, like I'm doing right now, is the winning one. It's sometimes loud or sometimes obnoxious, and some people are really good at it. But only if you honor your own style of expression, which is maybe introvert, um, you can feel more comfortable in your center, in your speech, to be who you are. So examine for a second what is your style of expressing. Uh, maybe your talents are not in being expressive, maybe your talents are in thinking deeper, in figuring out a conceptual thing, in being very creative and very uh, innovative in your thinking. If these are your talents, sometimes the expressives are a little bit more quiet or it needs more time to mature and in the conversation you are not taking the starring role but maybe when you are uh, in your own power and in your own honoring of your own style you will bring the most innovative or uh, exciting thing to the conversation so by tuning in and realizing maybe your style is not the flashy kind maybe your style is a little bit more quiet and a bit more slow and by accepting that and standing behind yourself you will be able to be more present and more confident in your communication and expression so what i will suggest for this is to first acknowledge what is your communication expression style? And the first thing to do is to have no judgment attitude, like those beautiful birds, and tune yourself into loving unconditionally your natural style of expression and be friends with that that will bring you already into your power because you will not try to be something else or someone else and be outside of your own center. So if you are more a person who are cooking slowly and gives this magnificent dishes of thought, honor that. Every group, every communication, every expression needs all kinds of style and not only one type of expression. So whatever your expression style, honor this with self-love. Second, I would like you to look if the shy or embarrassed to speak with people or with group comes from the environment, from kind of a wound. So look into yourself and I suggest to close your eyes and try to feel when was the time where your expression was shut or was uh, shamed or was embarrassed or you started to doubt your permission to express yourself. And we all have stories of something that a loving parent had said to us or a teacher or some floating idea of not worthiness got planted in your energy somewhere from the environment maybe you pick that idea that you're not allowed to speak or that you are embarrassing yourself if you speak um, and this is a little bit more of a wound 
type and there are many ways to heal this and if you feel at the moment that uh, you would like to expand your expression this wound is a gift because you can transform that and expand yourself to be more confident in your expression so here we want to look at a part of us that is maybe afraid of speaking and let's think about it as a child it's a part of us we are looking at it with no judgment the opposite we are activating again the self-love which means I accept you unconditionally and play the role of the mother of the father to this child who is wounded about their own speaking or their own expression and one of my favorite thing to do with this work is to work with sub personalities that you go and meet the personality that is in this wound so let's just close your eyes for a second and just imagine that that part of you that is afraid of speaking in that group in a very specific situation is a child and he wants to say something to you and just allow it to come and show itself there are many techniques of healing this kind of um, trauma or wounds but just by allowing it to come and speak to you and in meditation or in writing or in play you can have a whole conversation you are already empowering it to heal and I will suggest next time when you are in a group and you want to speak and you're afraid of it invite this part the shadow part to join you to say come you stand next to me and I will be speaking you don't have to do anything I'll do it for us it's a very interesting way to live because you will start to work with different aspects of yourself and with that you become a bigger person and a whole more whole person so let's breathe <sighs> and accept with no judgment that we all really all of us have wounded part that needs to be acknowledged so if you feel that shame or embarrassment go like oh somebody needs to talk to me and invite it in and say hi and say that you're gonna take care of it and it's all okay and the power of you expressing love it's the biggest healing power there is so so we looked at those two sides now there are a few tips I would like to summarize first looking at what is is it my style am I asking myself to be expressive like mrs. Johnson who is all over the place but I'm not like that we don't do that we honor our way you are honoring your nature this is one no judgment and activating self love second what from our environment made us shrink or think that we are not allowed to speak or allowed to express and take that part and invite us to come to us to a conversation and love and marination and when you work with sub personalities it's magnificent because uh, they will sometimes transform into their next next stage of evolution and it will be one of the parts that will help you become even better in this thing you are not good at very exciting work I love that shadow work the third thing I would like you to do based on those two things is to start to visualize yourself in this group of your colleagues and imagine that you speak clearly and you get a positive response and there is a great flow and harmony between how you speak and how they respond and just visualize that the power of visualization is so huge it's actually creating the script of what will be in reality so while you will do that you will feel all kind of things which is good you give them space but you do it in the safety of your own bedroom so it's a little bit of a rehearsal with 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 visualization of how it looks and if you don't like something about what you're visualizing change it until it feels good feels good no judgment self-love and make it feel good 
feel good. The fourth thing I will suggest to do is to use your speaking, your thinking, or your writing. Speaking is one of the most strongest, and writing will be second, and the third will be only thinking. But thinking, speaking, or writing, things like, I can speak with people, or I honor myself and my style, I enjoy expressing, start to play with the possibilities of where you want to be. Play with words, play with sentences, start to say those mantras in the mornings while you brush your teeth. You go like, I enjoy talking to people. It's literally reprogramming yourself with words or with writing. If you will do speaking and writing of the same sentence or thought of the same sentence, your reality will change. We know that. We create our own reality. So, I hope that helps. I hope you can be in your power with your talents and abilities as you're already confident about that and find a way to share that as a gift from you to the world, your own true self and your own true uh, style of expressing and your own uh, way of doing it. And you bring all of your wholeness in it and if there are wounded parts coming up, you will integrate it and you will enjoy expressing. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And let me know how it goes.